Let's look at this question. Option G, November 2011. Outline the effects of chlorofluorocarbons on the ozone layer. Let's look at the word chlorofluorocarbons. Um, well, it's broken up into three things. It's got chloro, it's got fluoro, and it's got carbons. So what happens with chlorofluorocarbons, which are released from air canisters um, back in the olden days, is that uh, they react in the atmosphere, and one of the breakdown products is chloride ions, or the chloro from the CFCs. These chloride ions break down the ozone, or O3, which is found in the atmosphere. And you might think, okay, well, that's fine. But what does O3 do? Well, the ozone actually absorbs UV radiation from the sun. And if you have insufficient levels of UV of uh, ozone, you'll have more UV radiation getting into the Earth's atmosphere. And this is bad for your skin, and this is bad for... Um, increasing uh, increasing heat levels as well and this leads to the effect of global warming as well the second question is uh, an interesting question discuss reasons for the conservation of biodiversity using the amazon rainforest as an example three mark question so we want to write at least three points i'm going to give you four here today first one is the fact that the amazon rainforest may be a large source of medicine and other pharmaceuticals so i think of this as m or the letter M, and um, there might be cures to cancer that are as of yet undiscovered, but they are waiting to be discovered within the Amazon rainforest itself. Second point is the fact that the rainforest can act as a source of inspiration for artists and painters, and I think it's a bit of a, a waffly point, it's a bit of a soft point, but just because uh, something is not medical or not particularly scientific doesn't mean it's not important either. So this is a valid second point as well. The third point is uh, the fact that the Amazon rainforest has a large amount of biomass in there and it can um, act as an, a very effective carbon sink for the storage of carbon. And now if this carbon was um, in the air, uh, this uh, it would be potentially dangerous for um, the population. The next point we're going to talk about is E. It can be a good source of um, income via ecotourism. And uh, this is a good point, especially for places perhaps such as the Amazon rainforest, say, such as South America, where the individuals there are somewhat less well off uh, compared to their Western country counterparts. And what I'm going to uh, writing down here is uh, my little acronym MACE, which will may help you memorize these points.